Hi friends, welcome to this class. And in this class, we are going to prepare purely in our classroom. Without any reagents, we are going to prepare in our classroom. So, uh, what happens is, see, we are going to prepare purely using mixture of aniline, lesser all with concentrated H2SO4, and we are going to use one oxidizing agent. See, we should know the structure of aniline, lesser all and H2SO4 and they are working then we are we can easily write the mechanism without anything we can write mechanism if you know their structure and conservation of charge in organic chemistry see annealing structure we know this is annealing say 6H5 NH2 like this this will be annealing and here lone pair of electron and in this annealing the nitrogen is sp hybridized sorry sp3 hybridized and this is primary structure primary primary amines what we tell now that is primary amine primary amine is amine is also good example for primary amine and glycerol glycerol what we use the soap we there they will tell uh, it, it has contains more uh, percentage of glycerol because it is it will be it gives softening to the skin so while preparing soap we use glycerol the structure of glycerol you should know in general because we use soap you should know the structure of glycerol this is the structure of glycerol this is glycerol CH2OH, CH2OH, CH2OH and sigma and we are going to by taking these two in presence of acidic medium that is concentrated H2SO4 and the oxidizing agent we are going to prepare this phenolene so our uh, product is phenone what it is like this we should get benzene ring and pyridine ring that is phenone using these two structure so let's get started come i am going to write this glycerol like this like this i can write glycerol see here i am going to add oh ch2oh chOH CH2OH. Isn't it? I can write like this also because we are both, it will be easy for us to discuss the mechanism. So I am going to write that lesser all like this. CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. OH. Then since it is taking place in acidic medium, so it must contain H plus ion. This H plus ion is going to attack this oxygen. Then next the question arises. Why attack only this oxygen? Why not these two oxygen? The simple answer is if it attack to this oxygen, it gets positive charge. So it takes this electron density and this carbon gets positive charge. And we know that if this carbon gets positive charge, this carbon is secondary carbon. So it will be little stable. If this carbon gets positive charge, if hydrogen, this H plus ion attacks with this, it takes this electron density and this carbon gets positive charge, the carbon is primary carbon. The primary carbocation are unstable compared to secondary carbocation. So, the stability order for carbocation is tertiary is more stable followed by secondary followed by primary because of plus I effect of the nearing. See, if it gets C, H plus ion is going to attack here. So, oxygen gets positive charge. So, since oxygen is electronegative, it can't be stable with positive charge. So, it takes this electron density by becoming H2O. So, this carbon gets positive charge. Since it is secondary carbon, here we have got CH2 group and here we have got CH2 group. These will give electron density by plus I effect. So, secondary carbocation is more stable compared to primary. primary. So, it is going to attack only this oxygen and we are we got the product like this. So, it is attacked and we got car, uh, secondary carbocation. And we know that here there will be two hydrogen. One hydrogen will move as H plus and this one going to shift here. This is nothing but beta elimination. The OH and the H. The OH is the functional group and this will be beta carbon. From beta the hydrogen is eliminating. So it is beta elimination. So what we got here is here. Double bond is here and OH group is here. And here OH group and only one hydrogen left. 
I can show it or otherwise it will be okay if I want to show that hydrogen. So let me draw with this pencil. So this we got. Then it is H plus ion. Again we have H plus ions. So these H plus ions are going to attack. Otherwise, what I can do is see here. Double bond is there and OH group is there. And we know that it is in all. In means in stands for double bond. One pi bond. All stands for alcoholic group. If there is enol in the compound, these are highly unstable. They undergo rearrangement. The rearrangement will be like this thing. O minus H plus. So this minus will shift on here and this gets and this one will shift in here. And this H plus will attack this. Once it shifts here, it gets negative charge. So H plus is going to attack this one and it becomes stable like this C. OH and here it will be H. Here H and here double bond O. So what it is? C double bond H. That is carbonyl compound we will get. This kind of rearrangement is nothing but tautomerism. This is, uh, since we are getting aldehyde, aldo tautomerism we will call it tautomerism. Because the enol, enol, from enol we got aldehyde by rearrangement. This is, so I can write this C double bond OH as CHO. Instead of writing this much, I can write CHO. No problem because I can reduce space. And since it is taking place in acidic medium, H plus ion will be there. And this H plus ion is going to attack this oxygen now. Now it is going to attack this oxygen because no other oxygens are left. So our my next V, that is my next intermediate will be like this. Since it gets H plus, uh, H plus ion attacks this, the oxygen gets positive charge. To become neutral, it takes this bond. This uh, carbon gets positive charge. That is, this carbon gets positive charge. The we know primary carbocation is highly unstable. What it does? It removes this H plus ion and it takes this bond here. So the final what we get is C double bond here, and we are left with CHO group. We got this one. And in our reaction, I have considered anilin. So this is my anilin. Then H2, like that. H2, double bond, double bond, double bond. And this is our, that one which we got. Let me represent like this. C double bond O, H. Instead of writing CHO, I can write like this also. Since nitrogen is electron rich and this oxygen is electron negative, let me write it clearly. Since this oxygen is electron negative, it is going to take this electron density towards itself. So this carbon gets positive charge. So this bond is going to shift here. This carbon gets positive charge. So this nitrogen is going to attack here. That is lone pair of electrons. So that it completely becomes neutral. So my next intermediate or my next step will be see as I will show here anilin group that is benzene ring is like this phenyl group and here nitrogen gave this lone pair of electron to this so there will be bond like this and this bond shifted here so double bond this carbon gets like this and oxygen gets negative charge and hydrogen remains like this. Isn't it? This is what we get. See here. Here also it is o H plus will be there in solution. So it is OH alcohol and double bond. That is in all. In which stands for double bond. All alcohol OH groups. Because of which it undergo again total medicine. This minus charge shifts here and this negative charge shifts here. So this carbon gets negative charge. For that negative charge, this hydrogen is going to attack. That is nothing but total medicine. So my next intermediate will be like this. This is my benzene ring. 
and nitrogen H H and I got one more here. Hydrogen will attack this and we have single bond. But here we have got double bond O and single bond H. Isn't it? Since this is sp3 hybridized and all are sigma bond, so I can rotate them as as I wish. If there are two double bonds, I can't rotate it because if I try to rotate it, it is going to break the bond. But since these are single bond, I can rotate in any direction. If in, instead of writing like this, I can write in this way. I can write in this way. Isn't it? Here I am going to write X and double bond. No problem. One and the same. So let me verify it whether I am writing the reaction correctly or not because I should not give any wrong information. Yeah, I got this structure and it is right. And here we know nitrogen has only three bonds, it can't have four bonds. So my structure is wrong here because of donation of this C. Here donated lone pair of electrons, so it gets positive charge. To remove that positive charge, what it does? It removes this proton and it becomes neutral. So, what happens is, it, it has not got two hydrogen here, it has got only one hydrogen. It becomes neutral. That will consist of two lone pair of electrons. So, here it is wrong. So, I have only one hydrogen here and it has got one lone pair of electron. I have explained it. Clear na? Because of giving this lone pair of electron, it got positive charge. To eliminate that positive charge, it removes that proton out. So, this step is right. Till this, we are correct. And the next step is C. Since it is taking place in SD medium, this oxygen is more electronegative. It gets this electron density towards itself. And this hydrogen is going to attack this oxygen. So this becomes electron deficient. Since it becomes electron deficient, so what happens is this double bond is going to go to this carbon and this hydrogen. Here we have got hydrogen. This hydrogen will be eliminated. Let us see in next step. Because it will be Confused. So here I have got thing because of shifting of this bond here, it gets positive charge here, isn't it? So this carbon got positive charge, and here I have got same thing here because O minus and H plus here I am got OH. So o minus it got and H plus OH bond is there, and here like this, and here I have got nitrogen. Hydrogen and two lone pair of electrons. Isn't it? Everything is right now. It has got positive charge. So this proton, here one proton will be there, it will be eliminated as H plus proton and this bond is going to shift here. So what we get is C. Let me write here. I don't have enough space to explain you in the correct order, but it will be the right order. C. Here I have got, because of eliminator of H plus, here I got double bond again. Then here OH group is there. And here nitrogen and it has got hydrogen here. And lone pair of electrons are present on nitrogen and not showing. As it is taking place in acidic medium, H plus medium, this H plus medium again attacks this oxygen. It becomes OH2 plus. To remove that H plus, it takes this electron density towards itself. So this carbon gets positive charge. Here we have got two hydrogen. One hydrogen will move as H plus. This bond is going to shift here. So what we get? Nothing but like this. Benzene is as it is. And here I got double bond because of shifting of this electron. I hope it is clearly visible to you. And then what happens is nitrogen is as usual. N and hydrogen. Till now we got the product. It is 1,2 dihydrophenolic. Is that it? Then what we do is we use one oxidizing agent. Because of using this oxidizing agent, it removes this hydrogen and this hydrogen and it is going to give us 
the final product that is phenolic. What we get is like this. We remove this hydrogen and this hydrogen and we got a double bond here. And lone pair of electron remains as it is. As it was there here, yeah, it remains as it is. In this way, we prepare phenolic in our classroom. The same thing you can do in your laboratory and you can try to prepare phenolic. So we shall, I am going to end this topic, not only quinolin, but I am also going to end this heterocyclic compounds. If you like the series, if you like these all videos, please don't forget to share with your friends. And if you like, like, like these videos and if you are not my member, please become my member by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you. Bye.